when you need help. Stranded, freezing, out of gas. You want Jay Whitley. Did you think twice before heading out or did you just jump right in? No, it's not me. When Jay got stuck in the blizzard trying to help a friend near Buffalo, he wound up with two strangers. Running low on fuel, turned away, and one door after another, he broke in to this school. As soon as you get through the glass, can you immediately feel heat? Uh, yeah, 100%. With his companion safely inside, Jay went back into the storm. I'm going to all these cars and telling them, hey, you know, I broke into school. There's heat, there's a bathroom, there's probably some food. It would have been enough to save two people. Why do you go back out there? Just that's the name of the game. You know, you gotta, you gotta help the next person in line. In all, Jay says his army rescued 23 people from the snow. Yeah, you know I love you. Including Addie Johnson and her son, Demario. We kept asking God to send us an angel, a guardian angel. And an angel came? <laughs> an angel came. An angel who turned school lunch into a holiday meal, pizza and cereal. Spending Christmas with strangers and we leaving out as family. Again in the cold, Jay kept going, firing up the snowblower to help get everyone home. Saving lives would have been enough. Cleaning was more than enough. But then Jay left this note. To whomever it may concern, I'm terribly sorry. I had to do it to save everyone. Merry Christmas. If you were going to write a note back, what would your note say? Oh, thank you, right? Like, what else can you say? You are a hero. There's still a lot of good left in the world, and I hope people can see that, you know, and just trust someone. Trust in a helping hand that won't give up. Jesse Kirsch, NBC News, Cheektowaga, New York.